In the previous lecture, we saw how to serve static files. For example, if I navigate to the localhost 5000 slash pages, it is showing me this content. Now, even if I refresh this numerous times, the content is going to remain the same as it is the static content. So, what if I want the content to be dynamic, that is some data. For that, we have templating engines. These templating engines are the processors that take the data from a source of information and merges it with a template which has some sort of parameters and generates HTML on the fly. We have various templating engines available like EJS, HBS, Express Handlebars, Pug, Mustache and many more. Basically, they all do the same thing with minor differences. But for this session, I am going to show you how to work with EJS. I am choosing EJS over others because EJS works out of the box as long as the templates are in the views folder and have an extension as EJS. EJS allows us to write JavaScript in templates. It has a very minimal configuration and is easy to use. To begin with, I will first install the package that is npm install EJS. Once this is installed, the next step is to tell the Express which templating engine to use. And the process to do that is extremely simple. I just need to write app.set in the double quotes, I'll say view space engine, comma, in the double quotes, I'll just say EJS. App.set is used to assign settings to the app, which is generally a key value pair. I can store any value here as per my need. There are few predefined keys which are used to configure the behavior of the app, and view engine is one of the predefined keys. So make sure we write the exact name that is view space engine. Next step is I'm going to create a views folder to keep our templates. Now remember that the name of the folder has to be views only because when using templating engines, Express is going to search the templates for views folders by default. Though we can set different folder names for views, to render as well, but for now I am keeping the name as it is. Perfect. Now I am creating a template called index.ejs. Now every templating engine has its own extension. For ejs, we have .ejs. Let's do some copy paste now. I am copying the content from index.html and pasting this in index.ejs. Let me remove the JS from here and in H1 tag, I'll say templating example and in H4, I'll say EJS templating engine. Let's save the files. So now we are done with setting up templating engines, folders and templates. Now we need to use this template to render from the server. So in the main route, we were returning the data using response.send. But now instead of some data, I want to render the template. And to render it, I am going to write response.render and in parentheses, index. Here in the parentheses, we don't have to worry about the path or extensions. As long as path is concerned, Anyway, it is going to be the views folder by default, as I mentioned just now. We just have to match the name of the file. Let's save the files and start the server. I'll navigate to localhost 5000 and here you can see the changes that we made in the index.ejs file. This means that the templating engine is working as expected. But this is not what we want. If we had to just render the static templates, we could have done that using the public folder only. So how do we render dynamic content here? 
let's do that now in render function after the name of the file we can pass object as a second parameter for example i am creating an object here with property title and the value is templating engine example using ejs so now I have passed an object with a property title in the render function. Now how do we render this title in the template? Let's go back to index.ejs and in h4 tag I am writing the JavaScript syntax here to render the dynamic value. That is less than percentage equals name of the parameter that is title in our case and then percentage greater than so this is how we render dynamic content in the html we use the less than percentage equal to and percentage greater than to end it and in between we give the variable name the parameter name all right let's save this and now when i refresh the browser you can see the change here let me do one more thing here in the parameter i am adding a property let's say value colon math dot random the math dot random method is to generate random numbers and now go back to the template and add this parameter as well so i'll say h3 less than percentage equals value and then percentage greater than let's save this and refresh so here we have some value every time i refresh this page a new number is rendered now this is what a dynamic page looks like so this is how we render a dynamic html though this is a very basic introduction as we proceed in this section we will come across with more practical dynamic pages Let's talk about an assignment. The assignment is that create an about page which will render the current time. Let's begin. First, let's create the about.ejs file. For now, I will copy and paste the content of about.html in the ejs. Go back to about.html. Let's copy this and paste it in about.ejs. Let me add one variable here. I'll say less than percentage equals current time percentage greater than. Okay, now I will go back to index.js and in about route, I will comment this res.send and I'll write here response dot that is res.render about that is the template name comma object current time colon new date in node date and time is actually handled by javascript date object and is loaded by default so this does not require any modules to be imported we can simply write a new date function which will return the current date time let's save this and we are done now we just need to refresh the page and navigate to about i'll say slash about wonderful so here we have the date time value let me refresh this page and you can see that the value of the time has also been changed